Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for the month of December. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But this is not a private reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. It's for any time in December, so if it doesn't resonate right now, check back. I've already done one December reading, and I'm going to tag it at the end if you want to watch that one. This is for Capricorn. This is the Tarot of Dreams deck. What does Capricorn need to know for the month of December? What's going on? What's coming up? Mm. This is about taking control, dominating a situation. This is also a, a protection card. Look at the gold. I mean, this is, in many decks, this is called the Lord, you know? So, hmm. very powerful. Looks like you guys are very, you have a lot of power this month, Capricorn. Look at the gold. Oh my gosh. Wow. A lot of... Um, you may be wanting to protect something. Protect what's yours. Or you may be looked at as a protector. Ooh. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups. Reverse. Queen of Wands. Somebody is emotionally unavailable or not offering real love. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. But these could be anybody. This is this is about nurturing. This is a this is a woman who is very nurturing, very caring, very kind. This is a woman who is very confident and focused and energetic. Now this is a celebration. Now this even kind of looks like a, almost like a New Year's Eve celebration. Now this is an offer of love, so I'm not sure what this is, but this is some sort of protection, uh, taking the lead to make some sort of offer. You could be receiving an offer from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ooh, but this is breaking free from something. This is you flying away, breaking free from something that is toxic, that is not, not, n n no more. It's not love anymore. It's not love. Yeah. So we have this page of swords reversed. This is somebody who, this is an energy of almost like anger, um, pettiness, drama. You could be dealing with somebody who's bringing some drama into your life. This is conflict, says it is. I think that we have somebody here that is very dramatic. Self-centered. I mean, you gotta look at the traits. I mean, we have somebody here that is very self-centered and dramatic. And it's like you're seeing the light though. You see the light. You see that you're dealing with somebody that is toxic. It looks to me like you are dealing with somebody who's toxic, or you have been and you're seeing it. You're not going to be a victim to that mentality. You got somebody here who has victim mentality. And they may have tried to involve you or they did involve you in a third party situation. Just saying. Ooh, yes. We do have somebody that has victim mentality. Somebody that's ego is very, very big and they've caused a lot of conflicts. 
we have a lot of power struggles here between you and this person and it looks like somebody is going to break free or they're thinking about breaking free out of self-love. There may be a new offer that is helping somebody to break free as well. Something has been insecure, but it looks like you're seeing the light because you are going to release. There's been a lot of depression, anxiety, despair. We have Taurus on the bottom, which is the hair font. So this is about uh, having faith and trust. It's about believing in yourself. It's about following your own path, listening to your inner guide. So you're being called to listen to your inner guide during this time. You could um, have a Taurus that could help to restore your faith. I'm not sure who this is but or what this is, but it looks like this is somebody that can help you. This is somebody that can help you. Um, let me make sure this is focused in. So it looks to me like we have some sort of celebration coming up in which you will probably... It looks like you're going to have some sort of choice. Or you're going to have the power. Or you're going to be able to take the lead and be in control and perhaps make a choice between two, maybe. This is a card of abundance. It's a card of stability and security. The time is ripe to receive... what you've worked so hard to obtain. There's like abundance all around you. If you've been going through some sort of stormy weather, the storm is over or it's just about over because it looks like there's love, there's love coming in with that. There's love, there's love here. After being in a state of depression, because you were dealing, I think you've been dealing with somebody who's mean-spirited and dramatic and self-centered. And perhaps, you know, that you're like, hell, this ain't love. I'd rather be on my own than, than deal with that shit. And, but I don't see you being on your own because I think that you might, you could, you know, be celebrating the New Year's with somebody. Now, this is about thinking about walking away from something. So you may be in the process of, of taking steps in a new direction because it looks as though your life has been turned upside down by somebody. Or their life is turned upside down. They're trying to bring you down with them, whoever that is. Somebody's trying to like pull you down with them. Misery loves company, right? Yes, we have a sneaky, shady individual in the mix here that doesn't really care who they hurt. They have their own motives, and yikes. So we have a deceptor in the, in the mix, somebody that's not telling the truth, somebody that thinks that they're smarter than hell, thinks that they're getting away from, with something when they're really not getting away with it. Because I think that you see it. I think the inner guide that we saw is telling you who this person really is, and now you're thinking about, you know walking away because the five of swords is about walking away from this drama this person is very dramatic very sneaky very shady uh thinks that you know <laughs> sly very sly individual so you're dealing with somebody who's keeping some kind of secret from you but i think you know that they are you know that they're keeping a secret and you're about ready to fly away by the looks of things. You're probably thinking, you know, I'd be better off on my own than dealing with this lie. And, but I don't think you're going to be alone because I see that you're probably going to be celebrating with somebody when you decide to stop playing games with whoever it is that you're playing games with because you're playing with a player. You definitely got a player in the mix here. Um, ooh. E, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now we definitely have a we have a we have a water sign here for sure. Um, this is somebody who has good intentions though. So this part in the upright, we have somebody here that has really good intentions for love. It's like this cup is ready to be filled and it's it's ready to be given. This person is 
not hiding anything. He's he's a he's he or she because we have the she right here is offering a true cup of love and this is like a soulmate connection so with the king and queen of the same suit so i think that if you think that you're going to be alone i don't see that happening i see that you are going to um probably receive some sort of offer of love from somebody That's, and I was going to say your Ten of Pentacles because I was looking at this one and I should have just said it. Damn it. And here it is. You're going to receive that Ten of Pentacles. So the happiness that you've been desiring, the, the extreme abundance, whatever is happening here is bringing you towards something more stable and secure. It's heading you it t towards a more uh, sunny place okay look if you once you go through that door it's like whoo you know the sun starts shining and it's so bright so it's a brighter future so whatever when you let go and break free because the devil reversed under there is you breaking free from this sly individual you have a um, offer of love or in a, a union that is going to come in that whether it comes in December or you just start communicating or you meet this person at this celebration, whatever the case is, um, where there's just a lot of, uh, it, it leads to a much more brighter, happier, um, stable, secure, abundant situation. So you guys are headed down a new path out of the darkness, you see, because the darkness is here, heading right into something that is more, a brighter future, a brighter future, which can lead to something really long-term and solid because this is something that is long-term. Now, this can also be moving. So you may be considering moving or somebody could be, you know, moving, I don't know. Yeah, something is being dropped. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands reversed with the Ten of Coins. Where this is letting go of something that doesn't no longer serve you. That brings you some more, more abundance. So you guys are dropping something. Dropping something that is too burdensome, too heavy, too overwhelming. Can't do it. Can't. It's just it's too much for me. I can't, I can't handle all of this. This person can't handle. He can't juggle all this. And there's, we got just juggling that right here. Somebody has been playing games with you and you can't do it anymore. I think that you're at the point where you just can't do it anymore. And now you're ready for this bright future. And I think that once you drop this overwhelming load, whatever it is that you're holding on to, whatever it is that you're juggling, okay, you have to drop it. Once you drop it, you know, and take the lead, you receive some sort of gold. Because remember I said the gold. Okay, so it looks as though you're going to receive something that is more abundant. And gold is abundant. And we have the abundance here. So be prepared to receive something. And this could even be money. If, if, you, if you're already in a relationship and everything is good, you really shouldn't be watching tarot readings. That's the damn truth. If you're in a happily ever relationship, then you don't need a tarot reading. But, whatever. People think they do. They, whatever. If you're not, if if you are in a happily ever after relationship, you could be you could be buying a new home or whatever, receiving something that is very abundant, okay, or acquiring something that is very long term. Either way, there's somebody that is walking into something that is very long term after dropping something that is overwhelming. So we have we do have somebody here man or woman that is has really good intentions for love and is ready for love and is offering love Woo! not only are they offering love but they're offering passion and they're offering growth and this is going to be an instant spark and the spark is not something that can be easily extinguished okay so we have a new fire being lit and this fire it's on fire it's like it's on fire it's like instant it's an instant spark it's like the fire has been lit um and this is the the sword oh, the sword 
the wand of passion, okay? So we have a new passionate beginning. And this is new. A new passionate beginning with somebody. A soulmate. Soulmates. We have a new soulmate connection. New soulmate connection here. New. After you have been engaged with somebody that it's emotionally unavailable. They just, they, their heart isn't where it needs to be to be able to offer you love. So I think that as soon as you break free with the devil reversed, you get this new opportunity. Like, <laughs> comes in like lightning. It does. And the attraction is so great that you can't deny it. It's like, it's so bright and it's so hot and it's so attractive and magnetic that you can't deny it and you may feel like you're acting recklessly and you may you know take that leap without even thinking you know you may feel like you're scared to take that leap but it looks to me like you probably need to you probably need to end and and just have this new beginning have this transformation because endings bring new beginnings and that's exactly what this is there's something ending and something new beginning. And you're going through a major life change here. So I see Capricorn that you are about to have a brand new um, partnership. In which the attraction is undeniable. It's a new soulmate. It is. It's a new passionate soulmate connection. In which it's like there's no... I don't care if this is reckless. I don't care if I'm being naive. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. The attraction is so great that I can't deny it. So I, I feel like you are about to go after what is yours. You're going to take the lead. You're going to um, probably release something and move it to head towards abundance very, very quickly with somebody that is really open for love. I mean, their, their heart is ready. Their heart is full of love. And it's a mutual love. It's like... Beautiful love, okay? The, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Where you guys nurture each other and you care for each other. There's a lot of petting. There's a lot of... Um, kind words, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of lovey-dovey. Lovey, 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 dovey. So, and there's a lot of passion as well. So, it looks to me like this is going to be a great month. Well, it's there's going to be some difficulty too because we have this letting go of this drama queen and moving into something that is very loving, caring, and nurturing. So, let's get a couple of these. New beginning. Endings bring new beginnings. So I think that this is exactly what we have here. We have a death of something that is leading you to or through a new doorway to something much, much brighter. I mean, it's, it's, it's it is. It's like the, a new fire is being lit. I mean, that's what's going on here. Remember, if you're in a happily ever after relationship, this reading is not for you. And that's the truth. Get a couple of these for Capricorn. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Think positive. This person that brought you down, their ego was huge. They were self-centered. It was all about them. Sometimes that can bring you down to the point where you think you're never going to find the one or you're never going to get this because that's what, that's what ego does. Do not let this person keep you down. Think positive because there's a soulmate on the horizon. And that's the damn truth, okay? We have a new passionate beginning here that is being offered to you. I mean, this is usually offered from the hand of God, right? Passion. Growth. Great sex. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Do it. Get to know this person. It's only going to 
build your foundation stronger. I'm going to show you what's on the bottom. So endings bring new beginnings. You're headed towards something new. Do not be afraid. There's a reason why things die. So that you can uh, start over. Reincarnate, you know. Things end so that you can transform. So that you can have the transition that's needed in your life. So we have an ending here that is bringing about something more passionate, more bright, more happier, more abundant than where you've been. Period. I'll show you what's on the bottom because it's pretty prominent, okay? We have somebody new. This is new. It's a new soulmate connection. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yes, this could be the one. You could be celebrating the holidays with this person. It's a time to be happy. It's a time to rejoice. It's a time to celebrate. Celebrate your release and start over. Good luck. So we have all the signs here. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you're dealing with. Okay? 